Hey there, Makeup Marketers. Welcome to our last session for June of Makeup Marketing Online. Today we are going to be talking about Pinterest for your Avon business. For those of you who do not know me, I am Emily Segrin. I've been an Avon rep since uh, January 2008. I live in Rockford, Illinois with my husband Rob and two children who are eight and four, Josh and Ava. I'm the 2015 Avon Woman of Enterprise. I own a licensed Avon Beauty Center, which allows me to sell at the President's Council level. And I am currently an advanced unit leader with about 180 team members. Um, you may ask why I go over this every single time, but I want to remind you that you need to be marketing yourself as a brand, um, not only your Avon business, but why should people buy from you? Why should people join your team? You want to be marketing yourself, getting your name out there, and sharing your accomplishments. So. If you're not doing that yet, um, you might want to incorporate it in your plan because it definitely helps helps with the marketing. Um, my online sales for 2015 so far are close to 30,000, and I've had 131 first generation appointments online. My goal with Makeup Marketing Online is to especially teach my team Momentum how to use some of my skills to market their Avon businesses online, um, but also just to help as many Avon representatives as I can um, in the meantime. While I'm trying to train my team and get them going, I hope to help as many people as I can. I have announced our July series. It's going to be Monday nights from 5 to 6.30 Central Time. Uh, like usual, you will receive access to the recordings by Wednesday, the week of the training. To see more detailed descriptions or to register online, as well as um, see which training courses um, are available through DVD, workbook, and uh, recordings, you can go to MakeupMarketingOnline.com slash Avon dash training. So July 6th, we have tips on how to sell more Avon online. July 13th, how to automate your Avon marketing. July 20th, how to convert Avon website visitors into online buyers. And July 27th, how to recruit Avon reps online. So each class is $5 each, or you can sign up for the month, and I give you a $5 break, so it's 15 for all four. So for the agenda for today, we're going to go over some Pinterest stats. I'm going to give you the meanings of some Pinterest lingo. We're going to go over some best practices for Pinterest. I will show you how to download the Pin It button for your internet browser. I'll show you how to pin directly from your Avon eStore as, well um, as well as from the social media center. I am going to give you an example of how to upload a photo and pin from a website as well as how to create an album, or I'm sorry, a board. <laughs> I'm talking Facebook, not Pinterest. I need to get in Pinterest mode. Um, we'll take a look at Pinterest analytics and then we'll go through some Q&A. So the power of Pinterest. Pinterest is an online bulletin board for your favorite images, which was la launched in 2010. Pinterest is stepping up as a valuable marketing tool for businesses. So if you do not yet have a Pinterest account, it is a fast growing social media website and somewhere you definitely want to have a presence. So Pinterest is growing rapidly, as I just mentioned. It's growing at an astounding rate. The number of US unique visitors and average minutes per visitor are both increasing quickly over time. Referral traffic. 
Did you know Pinterest accounted for 3.6% of referral traffic, while Twitter accounted for 3.61%? Um, Twitter has actually been around since 2006, so the fact that print Pinterest is sending just as much referral traffic as it's only been around since 2010 uh, is pretty impressive. Pinterest is a new leading referral traffic generator for retail brands. Launched in 2010, uh, Pinterest had 10.4 million users by early 2012. It's sending more referral traffic than Twitter, LinkedIn, or Google+. Why does Pinterest stand out? It's like a visual bulletin board on the web. It thrives on beautifully simple images of ideas grouped together on a board of a user's page. Users can follow all of the user's boards or just a single board. You can also view or locate boards based on a subject, topic, or theme. So let's talk about some of the terms. A pin. A pin is an image added to Pinterest. It can be added either from a link, a site, or an uploaded image. And it can include captions. A board. This is where your pins are. You can have separate boards for various subjects. And I'm going to tell you why the more boards the better a little bit later in today's training. You can repin. Once something is pinned, it can then be repinned by other Pinterest users. Um, so not only can you repin your own pins, but other users may repin your pins as well. So let's say um, you wanted to pin a Skin So Soft bath oil. So you might put that on your uh, Avon bath oil board. You might put it on your Skin So Soft board. Um, you might put it on, um, let's see, bath and body board. Um, so think about all the different categories that a pin can fit into. Um, and then you'll get more exposure by someone else even repinning it. So if someone might take one of your pins of Avon products and put it on a, a want to buy board. So that's, that's interesting because you've actually found a customer that way. And Pinterest will notify them when the price goes down on that pin. Over 80% of pins are repins. Um, so like I just discussed, uh, you definitely want to have a lot of original pins because most people uh, are more lazy about it and just repin other people's stuff. So definitely come up with a lot of your own pins that you pin from links um, or upload onto your Pinterest account. 30% of Pinterest users are 25 to 34 years old. Uh, so this is definitely the target market for who we want to join our team uh, to sell Avon. This is the new generation coming up, and we want to target them and have them join our team or become customers. 80% of Pinterest users are female. So that is definitely an interesting stat because um, most of our target customers are females, right? So we uh, mostly sell our Avon products to females, and that is the majority of uh, the users that make up this specific social media site. Sixty percent of Pinterest members earned a college degree. The majority of users live off a household income of 25 to 75,000. And Pinterest users in the US are most likely, more likely to live in the Midwest. And I can attest for that. I think that uh, we are bored more often because we have a lot of cold, rainy, icky weather. So we like to spend time on the internet. <laughs> Um, Pinterest powerful stats. Pinterest is retaining and engaging users as much as two to three times as efficiently as Twitter was at a similar time in history. American users of the social network spend an average of one hour and 17 minutes on Pinterest. 
compared to 36 minutes on Twitter, 17 minutes on LinkedIn, and 6 minutes on Google+. So once you have someone log on to Pinterest, they are captured. With an average time of being on there over an hour, um, that's really impressive because that's a long time to stay on a social media site. And that's just the average, one hour and 17 minutes. So some people are even staying longer than that. The top U.S. interests on Pinterest are crafts, gifts, uh, hobbies, and leisure, interior design, fashion designers, and collections. So uh, that may be something you want to focus some of your Avon boards on or creating personal boards. Those may be the categories you want to go after as they are the top interests of users. Some Interesting facts, haha. <laughs> um, one third of all Pinterest signups come from men. So even though a third of the people signing up are men, it seems that 80% are actually women that use it. 75% um, of Pinterest usage takes place on mobile devices. 93% of pinners shopped online in the past six months. So just think about that. 93% of those users shopped online. So um, if you're not pinning for your Avon business, you should be because they are shoppers on there. Uh, the number of people who see your pins is greater than your number of followers. So um, that's a pretty interesting fact because it's the complete opposite for Facebook right now. When you have, I have a, a Facebook page with over 3,000 users. I think it's close to 4,000 fans by now. And, and Facebook will show some of my posts to less than 10 people. So that's crazy. Um, being on Pinterest, I also have a lot of followers. And the fact that more people than just my followers see my pins um, is really good exposure. Pins with prices get 36% more likes than those without. So when you are pinning your Avon products, make sure you put in a price there. I know our prices vary a lot with the different campaigns and sales, uh, but you might want to say something like regularly $10, uh, see if whatever product is on sale. Um, so that's kind of a format that I have when I do pins. I say regularly five dollars um, I can't think of anything that's five dollars right now <laughs> how about regularly seven dollars by Avon glimmer sticks at online at and then I'll include my web address number six images without faces receive 23 percent more repins so that's actually interesting because they always say that faces and um, people in pictures will draw attention. But on Pinterest, it seems that um, people are more attracted to products and um, other visuals that do not include faces. The words DIY, cup, and recipe resonate most. So you may want to do some do-it-yourself pins. Um, you might want to include some of your favorite recipes on there. The more popular your pins are, uh, the more popular Pinterest is going to see your, your profile as. So um, just because you want mostly Avon customers and team members doesn't mean that you shouldn't include some personal boards on there. And then promoted pins perform long after a campaign ends. Now a promoted pin is going to be one that you pay to advertise to people. Um, I have not ventured into Pinterest advertising. Um, I have not spent any money um, on Pinterest for business. So um, I can't really say much to that topic, but um, it may be something you want to try out. Of course, uh, take a look at the Avon advertising rules and guidelines first before you make any decisions on paid advertising. Okay, so that ends our first session, and I look forward to talking to you in session two. Thank you.
Welcome, Makeup Marketers, back to the second session of All About Pinterest for your Avon business. In this session, I am going to go over some of my best practices for um, pinning to your Avon boards. Um, so I have seven tips for you today. My first tip is to make sure that you create specific category boards. So why would you want to do that instead of um, just having a bunch of personal boards and then one board that said Avon? Well, let me show you why. Let's open up a new window here and we're on Google. So I'm going to type in Avon free shipping code. And one, two, three, four, five links down is my Pinterest board. So that's pretty cool. Um, there's one million results for Avon free shipping code. And my website is number five. Um, sorry, my board is number five. So as long as someone has Pinterest, they can come in here and find my current pictures and look for free shipping codes. So if, one, if someone's going to open up the picture, they can either click on the image and it's going to take them to my blog post for Avon coupon codes for June. Um, so they can either uh, sorry, click on the picture or they can click on the link that I included in the description here. So let's take a, bit, a look back at my profile. Um, I have it named Avon Rep Emily. Um, I have my hometown and then I have verified my blog as my associated website. Down at the bottom here I tell someone how they can easily shop with me or sign up for my team. I have uh, over 460 boards, which has taken me a couple of years to get up to that amount, so don't feel any pressure by that number. Um, I have almost 17,000 pins, 72 likes, almost 5,700 followers, and I'm following over 8,900 people. Um, so how do I get to those numbers? You'll, you'll often see on social media that the amount of people that you follow are very similar to um, the amount following you. So make sure that you're always following others that you are similar to, even other Avon reps, because you want to build your network and you want them to follow your boards as well. So my first tip was to create specific category boards. My second tip is to pin often and pin consistently. Um, on any social media site, you want to have constant activity. So whether you're liking or commenting, pinning or repinning, you always want to be um, building that momentum and showing that you are active on your social profile because that's what's going to tell the social media site that you are a popular website. Okay, so uh, my third tip is to follow other pinners. So um, I mentioned that before, the more people you follow, the more people are going to follow you back. Um, so let's go into one of my product boards here. And I'm going to pin the Anuvital onto another board specific to Anu. So let's just pin it to Avon and New Vital and let's see if it brings up someone else's Pinterest. Okay, so down at the bottom it says it was also pinned on this board. So I'm going to follow her. Um, and it's just a way over time to build the amount of people you're following and hopefully they'll return the favor and follow you back. So my third tip is to follow other pinners. You can also type in through the search box here. So if I wanted to type in Avon and see um, a bunch of different pinners, I could do it that way. Um, and you can look for pinners, your pins, or boards. So the, the toolbar, the search toolbar is very helpful up here. Okay, my fourth tip is to use good descriptions. So let's open up this pin here. And you'll see I describe the product. I say what it's regularly priced at because I don't want to advertise a sale 
if uh, someone comes to this two weeks later and it's not on sale anymore. So a lot of times I'll say regularly $39 by Avon Skincare online at my website. Um, so I'll put the regular price and then I tie in the name of my category board right here. So this is on the Avon Skincare board, so I say buy Avon Skincare to reinforce that keyword. If you open up the description, you want to make sure that you use HTTP in your description with your URL um, so that it turns into an actual link. And I like to use this format as opposed to the YourAvon.com format because this is my static, my static address. Um, which brings me into the fifth tip, which is to use hashtags. So hashtags are basically a way that someone can do a search for a specific topic um, and pull up all the pins for that hashtag. So if someone was looking for anti-aging, my pin would come up as one of the one of the pins for that keyword. So you want to do, I try to do three to five hashtags per posting, and I'll, I'll use some very generic like anti-aging and wrinkles. And I'll use some specific, like a new, I might also want to include Avon in there. Okay, so make sure that you use hashtags with your posts. And then my sixth tip is to always include your Avon URL and a product price in your descriptions. Uh, we mentioned earlier that those product pictures that have a price in it get clicked on uh, more, more than those that don't. So I believe it was like 29%. Uh, you get 29% more clicks if you include a price in there in your product. And another thing that's really cool, I get my um, emails from Pinterest and it'll tell you if a price drops. So uh, your customers who have pinned certain products of yours may be getting an email notification from Pinterest telling them that it's on sale and it's a good time to buy. So that's another good reason to make sure you pin a lot of products and um, include the price in there. My last tip is just to pin, pin, and repin. So you want to make sure that you don't just go in and pin this product picture to one board and say, okay, I'm all done. Um, you know, if you're going to, let's say you're going to pin a glimmer stick, that might categorize as Avon makeup, Avon eye makeup. Avon eyeliner, um, Avon glimmer sticks. So you would want that pin on all of those boards because you don't know what someone's going to be searching the search engines for. So again, let's review our best practices. Number one, create specific category boards. Number two, pin often and consistently. Have, have consistent activity on your Pinterest board. Number three, follow other pinners. Number four, use good descriptions. Number five, use hashtags. Number six, include your Avon URL and the product price in your description. And number seven is to pin, pin, and repin. So I hope you enjoyed this section, and I will talk to you in part three. Thank you. Hey Makeup Marketers, it's Emily Segrin. This is the third section of All About Pinterest for your Avon business. I'm going to show you how you can install the Pin It button on your internet browser. So first I just want to come to Google and type in install Pin It button. Okay, so our first result here is on Pinterest in the Help Center. And it's going to ask you which browser you want to uh, add it to. Um, most of you probably use Internet Explorer, so we'll click on that. It says head to our browser button page. So I'm going to click on browser button page right there. We're just waiting for it to open up. And um, Oops, I do need to be in Internet Explorer for that to work. <laughs> um, I already have it installed on Chrome, so I'm going to do it here on Internet Explorer. 
Let's try that again. Okay, so here we go, and I'm going to click on the browser button page. It's going to take me to this page that says get our browser button. So I click on that. Down at the bottom here it says do I want to run or save the, uh, the file. So I want to save it. And then I want to click run. And it's asking me if I want it to make changes to my computer. So yes, I do. Um, and I'm going to automate, let's see, I'm going to manually close the application. So let's click next. And now we want to exit out of Internet Explorer and open it back up. And then you may have to right click up here to show the command bar. That's where the pin it button is. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, you do want to be careful when you use that pin it button from your browser. Uh, if you're using it from the eStore, make sure your rep ID is showing if you're going to pin an image. And I will go over that uh, in one of the other sections. So thank you. I'll talk to you soon. Hey Makeup Marketers, welcome to the fourth section of uh, All About Pinterest for your Avon business. We are looking at my eStore here and let's just go right in and see what we can pin. So in the last section I showed you how to add the pin it button to your toolbar for your internet browser. I did mention that you want to make sure that your rep ID is showing somewhere in the URL before you pin from the toolbar. So here it looks like it's okay. Um, my rep ID is showing right there, which is my account number. So I'm going to click on the pin it button. Let's just go ahead and pin the outlet. So I clicked on the pin it button and I chose which picture I wanted to share on Pinterest. As soon as it comes up here we can add a description to our image. You can do that by clicking this little pencil icon or clicking in the box. Um, and I want to do something more descriptive than just e-brochure. So I'm going to say Avon Outlet Campaign 1516. I'm going to say Shop Great Avon Sales Today. So you want to keep your descriptions short and sweet, um, maybe only a few, a couple to a few sentences. You always want to include your address to your website. And then, like I mentioned before, a few hashtags never hurts. Okay, so I'm going to do a search for my outlet board, and I'm going to pin it right to that board. Okay, and it also showed me that it's pinned on Carrie's board, so I'm going to follow her. And there we go. So let's take a look at a product page. And let's go ahead and click on the bath oil down here. And you can see that this does not have my rep ID in the URL, so I would not want to pin directly from this page. So we clicked on the original bath oil here. You can see up at the top that it still does not have my rep ID. So I want to, instead of using the pin it button, I want to use the share button down here uh, that Avon has provided for us because it's going to bring someone back to my website instead of just the Avon.com. And if you do not have a um, a blog that you can verify your site through. Um, Pinterest does not like the way that um, Avon has shortened the URL. So let me just show you what I'm talking about here. Um, I'm going to go and see my pin. 
And because I have verified my uh, blog, I don't get the error that it's sometimes people are getting that says this may be a sus suspicious link. So um, Avon has made a shortened URL. If you look at the bottom left of my screen, you'll see the Avon for me, Avon for dot me. It's basically a shortened URL. Um, but if you don't have a verified website, Pinterest is going to say it might be a suspicious link. So what you can do, um, let's click on our oil there. And, oh, yep, see that, okay. So even though I do have mine verified, um, it did the same thing. So what we would want to do is click through on the picture of the oil now we can see my rep ID is in there. So let's go ahead and highlight that whole link. And I want to right click and copy. And then when I say edit, I want to change the website that it's taking them to. So I highlight Avon's shortened URL and I paste in the long URL that has my rep ID in it and I click Save. And now it should not give that suspicious link um, warning message. Okay, so there you go. You can see it took them to my website to the original oil page. Um, so it's kind of a pain to do it that way. Hopefully Avon will be updating the Pinterest button so it is not shortened. Um, another thing you can do is um, it's hard to decide what to pin, so you can either start with a specific category um, or you can make it a habit of coming in here every time your website updates to a new campaign and pinning all of the new products. So um, you would go over here and it's going to tell me what's new for campaign 15 in the makeup category. And then you can just keep going down. And again, you want to pin it onto um, you want to pin it onto a main board, and then you want to repin it on other boards that it also fits into. You want to pin often, so make sure you're pinning once a week if you can, um, and make sure when you pin that you have your rep ID in there, because um, if we use the pin it button here, it's not going to take them to our specific website. Um, so hopefully that was helpful. We are going to go into our um, youravon.com and take a look at the social media center. Okay, so I'm logged in to youravon.com. I'm going to click on Web Office here. And I'm going to click on the Social Media Center right here. Now these images are updated um, every campaign. So make sure you come into your Social Media Center often and pin any pictures that you haven't done yet. Um, so down at the bottom here, you can tell if you've already shared it. Here I've shared it twice, and I've had 12 views um, as a result. Here I've shared twice, and I've had 60. Um, so we talked about uh, last week in tracking your Avon stats, how you can use those stats to determine what your most popular posts are and what you want to continue pinning. Um, so this was a popular one, so let's go ahead and pin that one. And maybe I already pinned it to my Avon makeup or cosmetic page, so I'm going to do it under lip now. Um, I'm going to put it under Avon lip stick. And um, Avon already has the description in there for me. I might add my own uh, website address so that they can either click on the picture or they can click on the description. Um, my URL in the description. And I might add in a few different hashtags. Okay, and we're going to pin it to the Avon Lipstick board. 
and then I'm going to follow her board. That's how you can uh, quickly get your list of followers, uh, people you're following up there so that hopefully they'll return the favor. Um, again, you want to do steps one through five every time and then uh, catch up on these if you can, the featured posts and the featured videos. The more you share, the more likely you are to be found by a potential customer or a potential team member. So I hope you found that helpful, um, learning how to pin from your e-store and pin from the social media center. I will talk to you in the next section. Thank you. Hey, makeup marketers, it's Emily Segrin. This is the fifth section of All About Pinterest for your Avon business. And in this session, I'm going to show you how to create a brand new Pinterest board, as well as how to upload a picture. So you can uh, create a board two different spots. There's here, um, you can click on that plus sign and create one from there. Um, or you can take an image that you want to pin. Um, I'm going to pin this Campaign 17 brochure onto a brand new board. So I click pin it. It's going to bring up a new screen for me. And if I type in Campaign 17, I can see that I have one already, but I don't have one for Avon Campaign 17 2015. So I want to create that board. So if I put in my title, it doesn't give me any results. So I know I don't already have one named that. And I click on the plus sign right here. So it's going to create a board. And then I'm going to click on this red create a board button at the bottom. OK, so then it saved it. So I can click on that down at the bottom there to be taken to that image. And what you want to do if you create a board within uh, the pinning screen, you do want to come back in here and uh, give it a description. So um, let's just say Shop Avon Campaign 17 2015 online. Um, let me just see if I can figure out the dates real quick. Uh, July 24th to August 6th. And then I'm going to add a description of a call to action that I want them to take when they view this board. So I'm going to say browse the catalog by clicking on any of the pins below or by visiting my website. And in this, uh, in the description, I do the yourevon.com format because it does not accept links. So um, there we go. We created a, a description. We used the keywords from the name of my board within the description. And then we also told them that they can shop by clicking on any of the pins or by visiting my Avon website. So I'm going to pick the category hair and beauty here. And then I don't want to make this a group board, so I'm going to turn that off. And I'm going to select Save. So then it gives a nice little dis description up at the top of the board. So now let's go ahead and see how we would add an image. Um, you click on Add a Pin here. And I'm going to do it from my device because I want an image from my computer. Um, of course, you have to have the image saved to your computer before you take this step. So um, let's just see. Actually, I want to go back to this folder. And I know I have a couple pictures from Campaign 17 saved in there. So let's go ahead and pin the Frozen backpack. All right, so then it opens up a new screen. And we can pick which board we want to put it on. So I want to put it on that Campaign 17 board. But I do want to give it a description. So I'm 
Okay, so I'm just describing what's in the picture and saying that they can buy it starting in campaign 17. And then I'm going to give them instructions on how they can shop with me. And then I want to add in some hashtags. So let's do Avon, Frozen, and Disney. And how about back to school? That's a scary thought already. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and pin it. Okay, so if I want them to be able to click through and go straight to my website, I'm going to click on the edit button right up at the top right hand corner there and I'm going to put my uh, Avon website in there and save. So then I might also want to put that on my Avon kids board. So I can click on pin it and I'm going to put that on Avon kids. And I also know that I have a frozen board, so I'm going to put it on there as well. And I might want to put it on um, all of my frozen boards, so I would go one by one and pin them to each of those boards. So I hope this gave you a good idea of how you can create new boards and new pins to um, really bulk up your Pinterest site and hopefully have all kinds of new content and draw in new customers and recruits. I will talk to you in the next sec section. Thank you. Hey Makeup Marketers, it's Emily Segrin. This is the last section of All About Pinterest for your Avon business. And in this session, I'm going to talk a little bit about how you can recruit on Pinterest. Um, I'm going to show you a look at the Google, or I'm sorry, Pinterest analytics. Um, and then we are going to close out the presentation. So um, I just want to go to Google here to show you um, how you can recruit using your Pinterest boards. So if I were a, a person looking to sign up with Avon and I, I didn't really know of a leader, but I wanted someone, um, I wanted a reference code so that I'm signing up with someone, um, I would type in Avon reference code here. And you can see that uh, the first link here is actually one of my Pinterest boards. Um, it's a little bit outdated, but they can still click on here um, and my 2015 board is right below that. So um, they might come back and click on the 2015 board. And I have this board titled Avon Representative Reference Code 2015. And I tell them exactly how to um, join my team. They can go to www.startavon.com and enter reference code ECGRIN. So then in these um, images, I just kind of talk, um, talk about the Avon opportunity. Um, some of these are a little out of date, so I need to go through and update those. But um, you can see how you can create different boards. Um, I know I have a lot more, so let's just type in selling Avon. Um, and here I have one called how to get started selling Avon. Um, so then when I write the descriptions, I do include the title um, of the board within the descriptions, and then I might also do a search online, how to get started selling Avon. And I might look all the way down at the bottom here to see what else people are typing in. So I might include a pin that says how to get started selling Avon online, how to start selling Avon again. Um, so hopefully if you look at my pins, hopefully I have some of those in there. How to get started selling Avon products. So um, just an idea of what you can do for recruiting. And I need to go ahead and do a description in here. And again, you want to keep these relatively short. Okay, 
and I want to put it in a category and select Save. Okay, so now it has a good description up at the top and I'm telling them uh, what I want them to do after they've looked at this board. So hopefully it'll help me get more team members. Um, now I want to show you a little bit about Google, I keep saying Google, uh, Pinterest analytics. <laughs> um, so you do have to have a business account to see any of the stats on Pinterest, so that is one advantage. Um, I did convert, I had started this Pinterest page as a personal account and then converted it over to business. And that's really the only big difference I've seen is that when you're a business profile, you can see some helpful stats on your account. So let's take a look. Um, Average daily viewers is uh, over 2,500, so that's awesome because um, the average people that see my blog on it per day are is somewhere around 1,000. Um, so the fact that 2,500, over 2,500 people are seeing my Pinterest profile is awesome. And um, you can see average monthly viewers. Looks like I need to spend a little more time on here because most of my numbers are down. But um, it gives you an idea of how many people you can reach with Pinterest. Um, here it tells me my top pins. So I might use that to go in and repin those on different boards because they're popular pins. Um, you can also take a look, let's see. Okay, so if you click more, it'll give you more information here. Um, there's my top pins. And here's boards with top impressions. So these are my popular boards. Um, so what I might do with that is use that information to determine the priority of my board. So I might go in and put them in order because I know this is my most popular board for the last 30 days. So you can move boards around. Um, you can see how many repins. You can see how many clicks. So see which, which boards are actually, which pins are getting people to click through. Um, and then you probably want to look at all time data instead of just the past month if you're going to be doing something like prioritizing the order of your boards. Um, so this tells me where I'm, uh, where I'm placing high in search engines. And it looks like some of my um, personal pins are a little more popular than my Avon ones. So um, it might tell me that I need to do some more personal pins just to get the popularity up of my profile. So let's go ahead. I want to show you how you can actually move a board. So I'm going to go back to my home feed. Actually, I want to go back to my profile. So I'm going to click on my name up here. And you can drag boards around just by uh, holding down on the left side of your mouse and putting it um, where you want to place it. So you could definitely use that data to see where your popular pins are and what your popular boards are so that you can organize it so the most popular are the first things uh, that people see. Okay, so let's close out today's session. I did forget to go over this one slide in the beginning there, so let's start here. Okay, so five types of rich pins. So if you are going to do some personal boards on um, your Pinterest profile, you may want to have a movie category, um, recipes, articles, products. Obviously, you're going to have all kinds of products with Avon and then places. So those are the most uh, popular pins that people like to repin and um, get the most interaction. 
So this concludes our June training session. I do have all of the topics for July announced. Um, July is just at the end of the week, so we'll be starting the July sessions next week. Um, and just a reminder, the topics for July are online selling tips, automate your marketing, how to convert visitors into buyers, and how to recruit reps online. So you can register for those by going to makeupmarketingonline.com uh, slash Avon dash training. And then again, be sure to look up Makeup Marketing Online. You can follow my blogs. You can join our group on Facebook. You can follow my page. Um, also, feel free to look me up personally, um, Emily Segrin. I wish you guys much success, and I hope these trainings are helping you build your online presence. Have a great day.